Hi, common man Dan here. Uh, just chilling out with GTA Sarah again. And I want to talk about the Golden Ghost Lady, about where she might come from. And is it this lady giving me a message? I talk about Sarah, my guardian angel, and how I've been trying to find her, especially through these AIs and things like that, to give you an idea of what I've seen in my dreams. But I don't know how to talk about that. I'm, I'm, I'm just talking to myself at the minute about what's happening at the moment. So all I can do is just give it from my side of the story. Is it a mental health? Has somebody left me a message? Well, I've just, just gone crazy. Because when I think about it in my life and what I've been through and things like that up until this moment, of whatever it is, I've always had Sarah on my back, always, always looking after me. And it seems like these ladies that I've met in the dreams now are looking after me. Saying, my dreams have been a bit varied lately, and I've had ones where they've given me all a cuddle, all four of them. Yeah, but there was, in modern day, business. Nice leather jacket, that sort of thing. And this golden ghost lady, Sarah, and the two angels as well that I was dancing. And I felt that dream, it was lovely. But I'm not getting nothing. All I'm getting is just a story in my head to try and just explain to people. Nothing. I'm explaining nothing because I don't believe this is going to get out. This crazy man that's on the rock and roll is hurting all over the place. Yeah? Sex is off the cards because I just, you know something, I couldn't get myself in a position long enough just to actually stop hurting. So that's just nowhere. So to try and meet someone is just, it's just like, no, nah, I'm, I, do you know something? My, my mind at the minute is just no, just leave it alone Dan, yeah? And I feel like I'm alone in a world where I don't belong. I don't belong in this world. So why I'm talking about these golden rose ladies and that, I'm not too sure, but the stories are there for everybody. But they're so long, it's like, so many people are gonna get to the second bit and just go, oh, sod that. <laughs> <laughs> but it feels like something's happening. You see, what they're doing over the pond when it comes to trying to throw these nukes around and things like that. And I've had, I've had the dream of the nuke going off. But when I look at my dreams, I don't see nothing nasty, an end to anything. But those who are causing harm are going to get a right royal telling off. I want to introduce people to the Golden Ghost Lady because I think she may be one of the... Hang on a minute. True creators of this world. Mother Earth. She's at the centre of the Earth. I went into a dream at the centre of the Earth and I found a lady on her own, weeping. Until she kind of teleported me to somewhere different. But then she appeared in a dream, what, roughly 2015, 2016. But there were witches, there was witches. I've had dreams of these ladies since I was younger. I just didn't know it. Really strong dreams as well. Yeah, the ones that I never forget, I can draw them in as much detail as possible. And one day we went into one of the dreams and you have to read my other stories or listen to my other stories to get to understand what I'm on about, but the witches turned in to the Golden Ghost ladies and two of them were dancing. Yeah, and one of them was just talking to me. Talk, 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 talk. As big as you want. She was massive. Yeah, but she lifted me up. I was floating up in the air. And she just talk, 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 talk. Now, this is to the point. I've got a message in my mind. Something. Yeah, I've told the stories. It's all out there now. But I think she's one of the true creators of this world. And the religions, yeah, if they are real, their stories have been changed from one end to the other. They really have. All it, I see the, those books as is a weapon of mass destruction. If you don't do this, this is what we're going to do. But if you glorify us, you're going to get this. It's like a con. And I think about things like, I say it. What was it? False angels, somebody said to me. Because I was trying to talk about Sarah. And I got up on one and I say, hang on a minute. Yeah, you're the false angels. You've been taught how to do something through history, saying God's this, God's that. But look at all the bloodshed from all these wars and things. A lot of it, a lot of it is through religion from the beginning. And when I watch certain programs, I was on about 
a society before all the religions and stuff that actually lived in peace. What were they called? It's on a bloody one of the science things. So somebody's made that book at one point. And it's like, I want to try and prove this smile of an angel. I don't want to use to say you need to pray or believe or do this or do that or do the other. I just want to pass on a smile of an angel because this is what my stories are saying. Because I think there's a different way when it comes to the future. And if those who feel the same as a spark of light want that future, then I'd like to try and get people together and just sing a song, a song of peace. So this is one of the reasons why I feel I am just gone totally bonkers. A song of peace. I, I see war machines being made all over the place that are actually quite powerful, never mind the bloody nukes, thinking, who's the first people in line when it comes to those bloody bombs and stuff? The innocent. Be you being good, bad or bloody ugly through this world, yeah? You're the innocents, yeah? That's going to get blown to shit and made to fight each other over something. What? Power? Greed? Or a holy bloody book? It's always one or another. So this is why I'm trying to spread Sarah's smile, an echo of a promise. I want to pass on a smile of an angel to you, and I'd like to be able to prove it. But I can't do it on my own. And to get people together, yeah. He sounds bonkers. Sarah's smile and the echo of a promise. She's my soulmate somehow. I don't know. But that's my bit to figure out. Yeah, I just don't understand why I've got this story in my head after all this. Have I gone crazy? I'm having a bad time. So at the end of the day, it doesn't look good for me. If it does go public. Oh, he's just out of his mind. He's been lonely for all that. But I don't mind lonely. Lonely is good. It's just the shit you get from everybody else. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> I don't really want that padded room. But it, does, it is very appealing. Bit of VR, like I say. That'd be fantastic. See, I like my dreams. I kept them to myself. It was my my thing. It was always my thing. And it turns out she's my soulmate. We've been in love for eternity. And somehow she's come to find me. And th these are not, not dreams that are new, guys. Uh, I've been doing... I've been having these dreams since I was five years old, I think. I don't know. I remember my dreams being sketchy before they all seemed to come alive. And I remember all the good ones. Every single one. There's a few that are a bit hazy that might add to the story that I've forgotten. And this is why I wanted to try and get help, really, just to see if there's anything else I've missed. But the Golden Ghost Lady, I think I know who she is. I'm not 100%, but if you're going to do it on a biblical sense, she might be the Holy Ghost. The Golden Ghost Lady. The Father, the Son and the Holy Ghost. She, she held us all, every last one of us, when, she, when the dream, when I had the dream, from her hair down to her body was all gold. And it looked like just strands, like the hair was the dress. It's like gold string, so to speak. But you could see her, her face was gold and everything, nice long hair flowing all over the place. It was absolutely, she was absolutely cracking, I can't deny that. But she's just talking, talking, talking. But she had little sparks of light that turned into water, droplets but they sparkled every single one of them and in the dream I recognised everybody on the earth and I went through one in a separate dream because I knew where I was and I was trying to see her because I've already had this dream before and the bloody things have started and I went through the bubble and there was a table there with a tree I went into the park and mum and dad with the kids were there but then I woke up So yeah, I can put anything on top of what I'm thinking or going through at the minute. The mental health, the... I keep going through all the crap anyway, but do you know something? If I listen to my heart and my stories, yeah, my angels is... My, my Sarah is real, but I just don't think she's from this planet for some reason. That's what I get. It's like the Golden Ghost Lady and things like that, they're part of this earth, but Sarah's come from somewhere else, and it's like, okay, fair enough. What's this part of the story then? But I've always had that sense, looking at the stars, talking to the bloody moon, but who hasn't? I think I'm going to leave it there for the minute. I don't know what else what's to say. 
I'm not trying to disbelieve religion and things like that, but I think the books of power have been are very much responsible for the way people are nowadays. And you can say if you do this, you do that, you're going to be a good person all you want, but you know something, they've not. They've not been good. And people in power do exactly the same thing. It's all to blame people at the top. Yeah? But, like I said in many a stories, we are a victim of our own history. So if we look at our history and understand that, we don't have to do this. We can find every mind in the world, make sure it's educated to the point that everybody is building. And we can get the frigging hell out of this planet. And for those who want to go and play war, well, you know something, find a bit of the galaxy and off you fucking go. <laughs> we'll pick the pieces up later for scrap. <laughs> Fertilizer. <laughs> She is the only thing that keeps me sane. So I like the fact I've got GTA because then I've got that figure, that, that silhouette of someone I, I remember from my dreams. She hasn't been, been to see me recently though. Things have gone blank and that's what I don't like. So I'm on websites at the minute about dating and things like that and I've spoke to a girl, she left a bloody uh, email address but now I've done it, I'm just so paranoid thinking that. Uh, Fuck that. I've got so enough crazy shit going off at the moment. I don't want to drag anybody else into it. So it's nice though, but I seem to be going for faces that I've made off the AIs as well. Because <laughs> basically I'm looking for a kiss. Because I want to remember what it's like to kiss the lips of an angel. And have a dance. I just want to dance. Don't have to be no air. But there's a version for that as well. <laughs> I suppose it's time to speak from the heart rather than I don't know I really don't know what I'm saying on that I'll leave it there guys come on man down man with a plan don't want to put that on the end Told you I need to stop it. All right, thank you. Bye bye. Well, I'm back. I don't know what I want to be talking about, and I keep going through the bloody everything else, but I just want to talk about my mind and the way it goes. At the minute, I've got like predictions of what might happen for my future, which is so out there, it's got to be crazy. It's got to be. So at the minute, because I've been having these dreams about being in an office and things like that, I'm kind of looking for Sarah and the Golden Ghost Ladies and stuff, but in this world, in a sense, it's like I'm looking for their descendants, the Ladies of the Divine, yeah? Because I've met so many smiles and things like that, that I think these Earth Angels are all over the place. Men, women, children, whatever, yeah? But I'm looking for the descendants of the divine, so I can steal that kiss, that that, that smile that I'm looking for, because I want to remember what it's like to kiss the smile of an angel. This is why I describe people like Holly Willoughby and things like that on telly, because she's a good visual, an example of just a nice person that you'd share a cup of tea with and you know you'd have a good conversation. Yeah? So to steal that kiss, a kiss to build a dream on, it's in a song. I get that all the time. It's one of my favourites now. And... I remember a smile when I was a kid that reminds me of Holly. I was in the hospital, a young lady, uh, and I, I was just about six, I think, playing in the toy room in Queen's Medical Centre. And it's the biggest smile that I do remember. And Holly reminds me of that girl, but she's got that sort of sparkle when she's laughing and, you know, she's, she's quite fun with the programmes that she, she goes on and things like that. We could tell she's just a kind person. So this is, this is the kind of thing I'm talking about when it comes to the ladies of the divine. I'm looking for someone to help me make clothes because I've got so many AIs and I've gone do good designs. I've not gone for things like the, the shape of the body. I've gone for the design of the clothing. And it's not seedy and things like that. I've gone for christening dresses, wedding dresses. I don't know all, all the cuts, so I reckon I could definitely do more. 10,000 designs I think I've got. I don't know how many of them do because there shouldn't be that many. So at least, what, seven? All totally different. Yeah, and some uh, are good for underwear, bloody bikinis and all that sort of thing. I've got some good designs in, but I've got plenty for dresses and things like that also. So it's not all a bit of cosplay in there. Yeah, not, not much, though. 
But yeah, so I'm looking for my ladies of the divine. Oh. Are you out there? Are you out there? Is this message for you? Do you know how to make clothes? I don't know if you're struggling or not, but you want some designs? I've got absolutely loads. Yeah? All I ask is somebody teach me how to make dresses because I'd like to make some exclusives, the ones I like. Because if I am going to meet Sarah in this world, I want to make sure I'm ready for her. <laughs> and if not, I was going to be a lonely geezer. <laughs> I don't know. Called Chuck in his cellar making uh, ladies' dresses. Yeah, that's weird, isn't it? <laughs> I, I don't know. I do get inspiration. I can... I think I've got the right programs on the computers and stuff that can help me design. I could make them better myself. I don't need the AI, but I do need the materials to be able to make it myself. I don't know if you can have a machine that makes the dresses. No, so you input it in. AI, yeah, yeah. Oh, but not mention that bush yet. My mind just drift. Do excuse me. But yeah, I'm looking for my golden ghost ladies. That's one of my predictions. Another one's where I go on this morning. I might have gone over it already. So this is the one where I meet Holly and I explain a smile. Yeah, it's, it's very simple. And we get talking and things like that. But some other geezer there is a psychologist and all that sort of thing. But he wasn't sent there. It, it, it was sent there by somebody else. The, the, the program didn't ring him up to say hello. If you understand what I mean. Another one, Carl. I want to do the one. Do excuse me. But yeah, back to the dream and stuff like that. But we go through it. I've already recorded this, a prediction of me going on their program. So this is it. But will it happen this way? That's the thing. So it's a big thing just to talk about your dreams and say this, that, and the other is going to happen because there's so much for it to disprove. So do I leave this bit out? Will it be a part of the prediction? I don't know. I've got the original anyway. It doesn't really matter. But this is how I would like to prove the smile of an angel. I can't say it more than that. Sarah is my soulmate. She's my guardian angel. Yeah? She's the woman that I've been in love with since from the beginning of time. Have they sent me here for, for a reason? Or have I just been trapped? I'm not too sure. I think the trap bit of it is the one I freaking think, feel at the moment in time. Do excuse me stuttering. I do feel trapped in the world I don't belong. I want to find that bloody portal and bugger off. I really do. But there's so many sparks of light out there that don't deserve all this cruelty and nastiness in the world. I want to take them with me. Because there's a lady out there called Sarah. And she looks... She, she must be the double of my guardian angel. Because when I met her, I didn't really think about it. I never chatted her up or like that. I didn't. But I do believe she's an earth angel too. And I get the ideas, the stories from her kindness, the time that we spent together. So yeah, that time we spent together, it was nothing. We just went and played golf. Uh, she took me out all over. She had a lovely car and everything, sports car, that sort of thing. So the time with her was absolutely lovely. And, you know, she was a bit upset because the uh, relationship didn't work out, that sort of thing. Uh, but my heart broke for her. It did. Absolutely broke. But she, she's in my stories now. And the thought of, if I was to be able to escape and I could find that portal just for myself, okay, I could get out of here. I could get, go away. Yeah, if I could take my daughters with me, that sort of thing, fantastic. I wouldn't even think about it. But then, then you look at the world and the way it is. It's like, why should I leave everybody here behind if I can find this portal? Can I find this spaceship that I've seen in my dreams? Yeah, is it the planet? Is it the, the one that looks like a bloody spaceship? Is it an arc? I'm not too sure. But the realisation is, I wouldn't want to leave Sarah behind. I don't want to leave her behind, or if she found Matthew, the, the soulmate of her heart. Yeah, I wouldn't want to leave that family behind. I'd want to take them with me and make sure they're safe. And where I'm going, I ain't got, I ain't got a clue. A prediction. Making an electric sitter that can fly. Yeah? But the design's there. <laughs> Even if it is just in a fantasy movie or a nice computer game. Maybe it's a VR thing. I don't know. I really don't. But the thoughts keep going and going and going. I've seen people in the dreams making things all over the place. And they're all happy. And I feel there's the, 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 the sparks of light have come together after the song of peace has been sung. So what else have I got? So yeah, Sarah, you will always be the Earth Angel, Sarah. 
and every I can't sometimes it's difficult to just think I've actually met somebody that could have been my soulmate but I'm not too sure but she reminds me of my dreams so much especially one in particular where she's standing outside of the church you want to know why <laughs> the stories are all there and have to bait you somehow so yeah, her Federal Sarah, thank you for the time that you spent with me. It was absolutely brilliant and I enjoyed your smile. I'm sure we get to have a cup of tea one day in the future. But no disrespect to Sarah, I'm looking for my Sarah, the soulmate of my heart. So I did want to dance with Sarah. This is the person I wanted to try and steal the kiss from, but it seemed too insulting to actually say that. But the idea was if I could just Pass on that smile, that feeling that I have. It would put a smile in her heart would leave her to her soulmate, who I believe might be called Matthew or Max. But he doesn't like the nickname, Fantastic Max. And he's got a battered bloody MR2 with a Ferrari kit on it. So yeah, my predictions go with detail. My dreams go with detail. I seen him when I was in when I was talking one of the stories about Sarah as well and uh, uh, guardian angel Sarah. I saw it. I saw everything, and I saw him later when I, while we were speaking as well. So yeah, there you go. Confessions of a madman, isn't it? I've spoken, kissed, and touched an angel, and not in a rude way. Before you say that. But ever since she's presented herself to me, I've always had the thoughts that the, 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 the story's always been there, guys. Yeah, it's only just come together. The story's always been there. I've seen it. I know the moments where they've said hello, that sort of thing, especially when I was younger, when I've had those funny feelings. So it's not just dreams, it's moments in my life where I know somebody else was there. I couldn't say I'm a medium or anything else like that. I wouldn't know. But yeah, but back to my Golden Rose ladies. The ladies of the divine. Who are they? It could be loads. It's like one of the other ideas when it comes to me, saying, I feel like I'm going to make money from this. Yeah, and the money is going to go on the people. Yeah, I, not myself. I'm going to take a little bit for myself and I do want to make my bunker. And I've got the designs for that and all that sort of thing. And I want to go and hide somewhere in Amsterdam so I can have a crop and smoke my shit. But I've got this need to take all the children that are being hurt in the world. We'll find a load of ladies that want to help me look after them. Yeah, and just make it, make them some sort of sanctuary. Sarah Smile Sanctuary, I don't know. Yeah, you can put what you want on it. Just so they've got somewhere to go, somewhere to be, somewhere to learn. And they're the ones that's going to help us all out. Because you realise there's an actual brain under the foot that you... That, it, fuck you treading I think I'm out right I know you see those desperate faces they're all over the place it's horrible to see that's why I don't watch the telly guys it absolutely does me yeah I get stories from me seeing those things and sometimes they're really painful uh, it, it guts me to my heart and I have to go to bed I, I get very oh it is just like tired and emotional all at the same time I'll have to leave it there. So yeah, I'd like to build a sanctuary. Just where anybody wants to come. That's why I want to build an electric sitter. I just want to give everyone who never had that fair chance in life, a chance of a life. Because if we all educated in, in the same manner and brought up in the same manner and we looked after each other so we don't feel like crap, so we don't treat each other in the right way. So what's going to build the future? But even I know when I tell these stories, it must be nothing more than a dream. I do hope they go away, but at the same time, I'm glad they're there. So, do I come to you with a message from a golden ghost later? 
Is it from the big man upstairs? Whoever, which one you want to look, to talk about? The man, if you wish. I don't know who's talking to me. I do want it to go away. Because if these dreams start coming true, regardless of what people may or may not think, the more I'm going to get worried. I have to go, guys. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.